This tutorial will show you how to connect a Google Sheets spreadsheet directly to a local instance of Olama running on your own computer. We'll create an Olama function that you can use like any other function in Google Sheets. And this setup allows you to access various open source models, such as DeepSeq R1. Connecting Olama to Sheets provides several critical advantages over using the newly released native Gemini AI function. Most importantly, the AI function requires additional manual interaction through a button at the bottom left of the cell. This prevents automatic updates to cells to reflect changes based on new or updated feeds of data. With Olama, your AI functions update automatically alongside other spreadsheet functions, allowing full sheet auto refreshes without manual intervention. Let's get started by going to the Olama website and downloading the Olama application. After you install it on your computer, open a terminal if you're on a Mac or a command prompt or PowerShell if you're on Windows, and type in Olama run deepseek-r1 colon 1.5b. This will install the smallest parameter, deepseek r1 model. You can alternatively install other models based on the model name on the Olama website. Now terminate the chat process. On a Mac, you would press Control C. Then type Olama serve, and a bunch of text will appear. You'll want to keep this terminal window open and open a new separate terminal window. Before we move on to the next step, it's also super important to actually start the Olama program itself on your computer. If the program is not running already, make sure it is. To connect your computer to Google Sheets, we'll need to create a Cloudflare tunnel. A tunnel securely links your local computer to the internet through Cloudflare, letting Google Sheets access data or services running locally without opening firewall ports or exposing your IP. You should treat this URL as if it's a secure password, since anyone who has it can access your local instance of Olama. To create the tunnel URL, you'll first need to install Homebrew if you're on a Mac, which is super easy to install. Check the video description for an installation tutorial. If you're on a Windows machine, you'll need WinGet, which should already be installed if you're using a more recent version of Windows. The next step is to install the Cloudflare Tunnel Client, which will allow you to create a free tunnel. On a Mac, type brew install Cloudflared, which ends with a D, and on Windows, type win get install, cloudflare.cloudflared, which also ends with a D. At this point, we can expose the local Olama endpoint to the internet with a single command, which you can see on the screen. The HTTP URL is a special loopback URL that just means this very machine. And the final five digits of the URL is the port through which your local Olama instance listens. After a few seconds, Cloudflare will print a bunch of text and code, including a long URL with a random string of words that ends with trycloudflare.com. We'll use this URL inside Google Sheets in just a moment to initiate the connection. Keep the terminal open. As long as this terminal is open, your local Olama instance is connected to the internet. Next, open up a new Google Sheets spreadsheet and add a new tab and rename it as Settings. Paste the long URL that came from the Cloudflare Tunnel Terminal connection into cell A1. In cell A2, write the name of the Olama model name that you're using. In our case, DeepSeek R1 1.5B. Then, from the top menu bar, click Extensions and then App Script. Delete any starter code in the editor and then paste in the following code chunk, which you can find a link to in the video description below. I won't go into much technical detail about how this code works, but essentially it grabs the tunnel URL and model name from the Settings tab, sends your prompt to your local Olama server through the Cloudflare tunnel, and then returns the model's response directly into the cell based on a function called Olama. Click the Run button, and you'll be prompted to give permissions to the app script. You then should see two yellowish execution banners pop up. Finally, you can go back to your spreadsheet, choose a cell, and type the equals sign before writing Olama in all caps. Within the parentheses and quotation marks, you can now query your Olama model directly. If you want to reference a cell or set of cells in the query, you can add ampersand followed by the cell name. If you want a quick refresh and rerun of an Olama query, add the cell name of where you'll place a checkbox as an additional argument at the end of the Olama formula. Next, choose an unused cell, then go to Insert on the menu bar 
and then click on checkbox. When you toggle the checkbox twice, it will rerun the query. When you're done using the Cloudflare tunnel, remember to terminate it from the terminal so that your Olama server isn't exposed to the internet. The next time you reinitiate it, remember you'll need to update the URL in the settings tab based on the new Cloudflare tunnel. Thanks for watching and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Deep Charts channel for more tutorials on how to leverage the latest AI tools.